In the beginning, God created the ether and the earth and decided that the light is good and purposive and thus separated the darkness from the light and named the light day and the darkness night. When I graduated from school, my father told me, my son, in life it is preferable to lose an eye than your credibility. A Cypriot proverb says, when you find a fig, take it. I say, of course my father was right, but he didn't know what losing an eye means. Education has been named enlightenment. Thus, higher education means higher enlightenment. Born in a mountainous village of Cyprus, I remember my early childhood's clear nights sleeping in the open, dreaming while watching the skies full of stars. Since then, no stars have been glittering in my skies. From my age of seven, my eyesight grew worse until I could barely see. The doctors could do nothing. This was my life, struggling through my blurred teenage years to university studies. Grabbing the opportunity the Fulbright program gave me in 1989, I found myself following graduate studies, first at Fort Collins, Colorado, and then at UC Davis, California, where I was very lucky to meet with and hear from great professors and substantially upgrade my technical knowledge and skills. And I felt enlightened. It was a Sunday morning, March 1990, sitting back into my armchair watching TV. I saw an eye surgeon interviewed saying that my eye disease could now be curable. I thought that this was my great moment. And I remembered the Cypriot proverb, when you find a fig, take it. I felt an inside power assuring me that this was really my fig. I went through the transplantation on April the 20th. The next day, I opened my bandages. Oh, there was the light, the real bright light. I looked eastwards to the Sierra Nevada mountains. I realized that I could now see even the branches of the trees at a distance of 50 meters. Before, I could hardly recognize even the face of my wife at the distance of two meters. I remember bending down, raising my hands and eyes to the heavens, whispering, thank you, my God. And I went back to read the first chapter of Genesis. For the first time, I understood and I learned what is light and how other people see and I chanted Gloria in excelsis Deo and I understood now well what is working a miracle. I returned home in July surprising my wife and children as well as my colleagues. My real life started now from the beginning having a bull in my engine ready to burst out in energy and do all those things I wanted to but could not do before. This was the full parade program for me, the child from Kiberunda, a mountainous village of Cyprus. I am sure that my case goes far beyond Senator William Fulbright's expectations. <laughs>